and week 13, uh, week five of the spring split, but week 13 overall, each EFC Rocket League season. Uh, we got Canisius taking on Iona coming up, and um, Iona, that's they have been moving up. They, they've reclaimed their 10th seed after, after a little back and forth up and down the ranks. 10th, a great placing coming up against uh, Canisius, who are currently sitting 28th, so a fairly big gap between these two teams, but a chance for Canisius to prove that they want to move up in the table and prove that they deserve to move up in the table if they can get this upset. But obviously, Iona, one of the top 10 teams in the league, they definitely do not want to let that go easily and we'll have to see if they can pick up the win or whether Canisius can make a potential upset. But, you know, there are some top, top players in this Iona team and I'll be very interested to see how they play. Yeah, uh, Canisius, uh, they lost to Iona in the first week of the spring split, so week nine, uh, in a, a pretty devastating 3-0 going in Iona's favor. And Canisius have just been kind of the downslide ever since. Iona pushed them down the hill, and Canisius have just kind of rolled down it like barrel style, losing their last four straight. Now, I will say they had uh, DJ was in for Iona in that game. DJ had one of the highest scores I've ever seen from an individual player. Had an 18-33 scoreline with 13 goals on 15 shots in one game. And, well, good news for Canisius is DJ not in the lineup today. We will have a sub, Jazer, subbing in for DJ for, for this matchup. Not to be confused with the the, the content creator, Jazer, but it is spelled very similarly. And I, I was wondering how to pronounce it, but we, we do have an answer. And it does look like we're about ready to get into game and get underway with this one. So here we go. Let's see which one of these two teams is going to pick it up. And I love those wheels. They're the wheels that I got those the other day. They're so clean. I also love Ryan's name. Ryan from Iona always has uh, something clever. It just comes in with a question mark today. So it's, I guess we're just going to be calling him Ryan all day long with the, with the question mark. Ryan, like you got to you got to up the annotation a little bit at the end to get that question feel. Yeah, yeah. Can you just start off early on the attack? Not really make much of it, though. And here comes Ryan. And it's going to be Jazer fighting the first goal. Welcome to the game, Jazer. There's a goal. 30 seconds into the first game. Ryan plays it to Jazer and after the you know the rebound it was a, a great goal and well worked and although it was a little bit difficult defensively as you know you're both on the line just getting the ball hit into you always difficult Ryan maybe Ryan has a look ooh, 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 ooh. takes a double commit from the defense to just deny that corner shot fortunately Canisius are able to push it out but unfortunately they can't get it out of their own zone Jazer's got two now so that must be the real Jazer. That must be the real Jazer because he's performing like the real Jazer. He's got two goals and, well, you said this is a substitute coming in. He's definitely put it on a show here. Didn't take long either, did it? 44 seconds, pair of goals on the board. And here comes Jazer driving back down again. Doesn't grab that boost. Instead, he's going to opt to pass it up to Ryan, who's looking for the backboard shot. It is an odd bounce, though, and Stein is not able to get to it. Stuff will find the clear. Let's see if Canisius can finally put some shots on this rectangle. It's going to be Glixy with that opportunity. Nope, it's going to leave it for Shadowstorm. Shadowstorm gets a bit of a lackluster touch, and it just kind of gingerly bounces into the corner. Ryan puts it up for Sestondi, and oh, Ryan's so close to getting the, the rebound. That stuff will send it away eventually, and Canisius can live for another day. Shadowstorm puts it up. So Sandy so close to putting it in the net. Ryan with another touch. Jay's to unrelenting pressure coming out from Iona. And it's something we do see from them quite a lot. They do like to put a lot of pressure on the other teams. So Sandy there to, to dunk it in. And it was a beautiful goal. Dunking it down over Stuff. Ryan putting it in the middle with a little bit of a pinch action. And Stuff trying to contest. And so Sandy just says, not today, sir. Puts it in the back of the net for the 3-0 lead. Well, Stondi sees I'm Stuff guarding the backboard, knowing that that's not going to work, which may have been the initial plan. So Stondi just beats the ball before it can even bounce off the wall and just spikes it right on home. The brilliant in-the-moment read coming out to give Iona a 3-0 here in game number one. Stondi is going to muscle it past one. Yeah, it's a huge challenge. 
And I gotta say, like, Iona, they have these really tight offensive rotations to where there's always somebody in your face at the defense. You know, they don't swing out too wide, but they maintain these tight little circles on the attack. And it feels like there's just constant pressure mm. against Kanisha's defense so far. Yeah, they are definitely performing really well, communicating with each other. And Chaser, maybe just that little substitute, um, a little bit rusty, as it cuts just in front of um, Brian in the in the rotation. And a little bit of a bump, but it's not going to matter too much. The Stondi coming in, and I'll be honest, I was expecting Chaser to look for the shot there, looking for the demo then again, as on the way back from his rotation. But either way, 3-0 lead, two minutes to go. Is there anything here for... Canisius to potentially try and get back in this one. Doesn't look like it. They haven't had much in this game so far. Starting to go on. Up! Oh, might get over Glixie. Oh, Glixie gets just enough of it to send that one outside. And, and funny, I was mentioning the tight rotations, and since the 3-0 lead, Iona are, are more sitting back at the midfield line and, and just kind of keeping it in the blue half. I think they're playing more for possession <gasps> at this point. That shot goes a little high. One of the best opportunities we've seen out of Kanisha so far. Oh, there we go for the team pinch. I was about to say, yeah. that would be outrageous. It's on the flick seat. Defends well, but it drops Jesus back down into the danger there. area. Woo. Ryan! Special mark is there to put it in the back of the net. So Stondi with a great bit of ball control. Blixie does well to contest, but no one in net. Stuff just seconds away, but couldn't quite get there in time. And a 4 0 lead now. And I think it, it definitely shows that, you know, the performance to the to the scoreline is definitely correct. So Iron have been playing really, really well here. This Iona team has been hot. They've won five of their last six. Uh, and we got to talk to DJ here on broadcast uh, a couple weeks ago. Uh, and he was talking about, like, they are gunning for Atlantic City. When they found out that there's going to be you know, the national championships there, it, it lit a fire under this squad. Uh, and, I mean, that's, they have been on, on a tear. And they continue to just decimate Canisius here in game one. I don't expect them to let off the gas at all continuing through this series. Yeah, I mean, it's been like, what, two years maybe since there have been, uh, you know, lands have really like started coming back into into fruition. We haven't really seen too many, obviously, since the, the, the virus came through and everything got put to a halt. So, and I, I mean, I don't know the ages of the players, but a lot of these players wouldn't have even been able to compete in some of these tournaments as they maybe would have been just a little bit too young. But definitely, I mean, I, th I think for everybody, LAN is a very, very fun situation you know lots oh, of players oh, 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 oh hits the bar Stondi so close Jayza can't quite put it in either but yeah Alan is such an exciting event not just for gamers but for you know anybody getting along getting involved there should be a goal there for Glix he hits the post Jayza sends it away and it should be the 4-0 win for Iona as the ball bounces up one maybe last chance for Ryan hits the bar doesn't hit the floor though and there it is. It is all over. Iona will be picking up the win. A 4-0 victory over Kanisha says they just assert, assert their dominance here. No, oh, complete and utter dominance at that. We're talking 15 to 2 in shot total. Uh, I mean, which, you know, style can, can dictate how many shots you get. It varies depending on the squad. But 15 to 2, now that's that says a lot right there, I'm afraid. Very true, and I think all the players on the Iona team performed really well, though. They all definitely had their oh, moments yeah. where they, they popped up and they had little moments to shine themselves, but they also performed really well as a team. Jays are coming in as a sub, not really showing any rust or anything like that. He seems like he's definitely integrated well into the team. There were a the few times where we saw maybe a little bit of miscommunication and rotation, but other than that, they have played pretty much perfectly as we get into game number two. I kind of want to circle back to what you're talking about, Lance, though, because that's so important. That's, yeah. I mean, it's what's at stake for all of these players, for all of these gamers on the pitch uh, each and every week. And there's just no experience like it. And like you say, I mean, it's for everybody involved, but for particularly the, the gamers who are out there competing, to be able to play at a land like that, particularly a, a, in a national championship scenario, would, would be an experience of a lifetime, no doubt. And it's just certainly gotten, like I said, the Iona players very excited. I'm sure everybody in the league. Yeah, definitely. I think it's exciting for everybody, the tournament, tournament organizers, 
the commentators if they're obviously if they if they go out and um, yeah, I, I just think that in general, um, LAN events are probably one of the best things um, for a, as a game and fan. You know, they're so exciting. It's a chance to spend time, meet people. You know, obviously it depends what you want to do in the evening time. Whether you want to, you know, have a sit around the table, have a have a little drink together, whatever you want to do. You know, it is an exciting situation. But I love going to LANs every single uh, whenever they're on. You know, I went to a few before everything kind of locked down and got shut up, but. We haven't really had many. They've only just recently started coming back. I love lands. They're so much fun. Yeah, that's agreed. Agreed. Ryan taking up the skies. Gets the double Ooh. tap in off the beautiful corner pass. Opening up game two. Look at that. Look at that pitch from Stoddy. Gets it off the wall as well. What an interesting bounce. Well read by Ryan. Ryan with the the bronze title or player card, whatever it is. And uh, so that I say, sir. You are a liar. You are not a bronze. You are definitely not bronze. What a play. That was, uh, yeah, really, really great stuff once again from Ryan, question mark. Yeah, we've seen Ryan hit the ball. Ryan might hit the ball. No, it's, I, I love the variations. I love the personality coming out of this squad. Both these teams actually have a ton of personality. You love to see it. You can, you can see it translate into the gameplay. Right now, it looks like a lot of aggression out of Iona so far. Nice little touch! Oh, what a redirect from Jazer. That's their third on the day. Yeah, ball comes down from Sir Stondi and just flips into it. And unfortunately, Shadow can't read it. Glick sees him back off his rotation. And yeah, it just trickles into the back of the net. A fantastic read um, from Jazer to see that, you know, nobody was going to be in net. Chance for Glick well saved by so Stondi coming across. That should really never be in any trouble from a, a kickoff chance stuff. Well played by, um, I think it was Jazer in the end to, to get the ball there. Stuff goes up for it once again. And yeah, it's just really, really impressive stuff coming out from Iona going forward. Both, I mean, all their players are just so talented mechanically. Yeah, good read there. Knowing stuff had to go for that that boost and working it over. Stande back into the corner now. Doesn't have a lot to work with. Just going to pass it out of the corner to Ryan. Ryan doesn't get a solid shot. I think wanted to send that top left and couldn't quite force the angle. Stuff is able to work it past Ryan right through the midfield. It takes two players from, uh, from Iona to push up, but they get the job done. Almost get the goal. Sando can't, Stande can't quite get there. Ooh, it's too fast field. for him. Too fast. It was too fast, man. Uh, either way, two minutes to go left in this one. The shot comes out from Stuff. Ryan clears it off the line. Stuff, though, gets a nice rebound, oh, nice. but Ryan reads it. Ryan just, he knows that the ball's coming across. Six around. So Stondi banks in off the back, but Jay's are spinning to try and get a better position. Can't quite get there in time. Ball played off the wall. Jay's are knocks up into a bit of a dangerous position. Ryan will deal with it. Stondi puts it down. Is Jay's are there? Glicks in. Stuff back in position, unfortunately, for them. We love to see a cheeky team goal, but well defended by Canisius. Ball put into the middle. Shadow Storm is there, but it's a little bit of a whiff. Jaser makes it off. Stondi puts it onto the back wall. And it's getting dangerous now. Stondi comes in, and that should be the goal. And it will be Jaser comes in to make sure that it's guaranteed. It's not a kill steal, it's a kill secure. Oh my goodness, that was so close. Glixie almost had it out of there. Oh, uh, it was the follow-up coming through that is able to force that one home. Sticking with the ball was absolutely the right play. Otherwise, that would not have been a goal. And for an Iona squad that's gotten a little bit more defensive, uh, it's similar to what we saw again. Once they aggressive until they get a couple goals and they play the midfield wide more. Uh, they know they want to strike, though, George, and Ryan strikes true for the fourth goal in game number two. Stondi puts the power on it. Ryan just redirects it with the nose of his car into the back of the net. Shadow Storm can't get there in time, and it's an absolute slapper. And Iona once again, four goals up, looking absolutely dominant here. Shadow Storm will get hey. the kickoff goal, and can he just finally get themselves a goal in this game? Hey, the first one's the hardest one to get. Once you, get, once you get rid of the goose egg, then it's like, okay, we, 
We've broken the seal. We can start putting some things together. Now, I don't know if there's enough time for them to come back in this series. I mean, overall, sure, it's definitely possible, theoretically, mathematically. Uh, but the momentum has been such in their favor. But look at this! Okay. There's a chance. I, I am... Uh... I am interested. I am intrigued to see what can happen now. Two goals, a minute left to go. There is a chance. I'm not willing to count out yet. We go nine minutes without Kanishas being able to score. It's something they put up two in nine seconds. <laughs> Outrageous stuff from Kanishas. Is there a chance? Ball put across the middle. Nice demo. A good demo from Stuff to stop Ryan from potentially putting it in the back of the net. Stondi bounce off the wall. Jazer there as well. Stondi puts it back in the middle for Jazer. Can he get a double tap? Runs out of boost. Ryan gets Ryan. a touchdown. And he'll put it in the back of the net. It's not a touchdown. It is a goal. Great stuff once again <laughs> from wrong Ryan. Football. <laughs> wrong, wrong football. Exactly. <laughs> oh, I believe that's a uh, hat trick for Ryan here in uh, game number two. Back that. Maybe it's fourth. Uh... I'm usually pretty good at keeping track. No, okay, it was the hat trick. It was Jason who got the other one. So I'm usually good at keeping track of who scored what, but I missed one of those goals uh, in, in my notes here. But there you go. Yeah, hat trick there for Ryan. My gut instinct was correct. And despite the the slight blemish on the record, Iona still with a very strong finish, very commanding lead and, and domination here in, in game number two. I will say, though, the two goals coming out of Canisius could be... Could be enough to give him give him some momentum going into game three and try to at least stave off a 3-0 sweep every game counts every map point quote unquote counts uh here in egfc very very true they uh they showed that they can break the defense of iona but iona after those two goals went and got themselves two goals and it is now 6-2 and iona will be picking up the second win putting it to match point as uh yeah so stondi proven that he is a tactical playmaker, putting the ball in the middle, setting up the assists. And as you can see there, he might not be putting the goals away, but he's definitely given the assists. He's putting the ball in the right areas for Ryan and Jayza to succeed, and Iona looking very, very strong. Yeah, four assists. That's that's pretty awesome. Uh, I mean, it's, you've got to play it. Iona has that, you know, the, the nice passing going on and the good setups out of the corner in particular. Stani has been just outstanding in playing their corners today and finding those, those passes off the wall to be able to get around the defense, to find the openings beautifully timed. Uh, Iona just looking absolutely strong. Uh, yeah. I, again, I mean, they started off the, the season three and three, you know, kind of middle of the pack. Uh, and, and losing to teams like BGSU that we just saw, you know, in our last series. Uh, and then in this in this past mm. six games, man, they have been, uh, looked like a whole new squad. Yeah, uh, I don't know, just, they seem to have so much more, um, so much more control over the ball. They seem to be doing a really, really good job of holding it in their possession. And Shadow Storm has a little, a little bump with Jazer. And, Neither team really wants to touch the ball right now. Both teams just waiting. Who wants to touch it? 30 seconds in. Uh, Shadow Storm with a good little touch there to keep it from going too far into the danger zone. Ryan can't quite get the redirect. And both teams with a, a bit of a slow start. But yeah, I, I agree with your comment. I think that uh, Iona, yeah, they just they just seem to have so much of it. This is with a substitute, by the way. Exactly. And I mean, it DJ was, you know, arguably, you know, one of their top uh, performers as far as on attack, one of, the, one of their top scorers. And so even without DJ on the pitch, uh, they're able to put up a heck of a lot of shots, a heck of a lot of goals. It was 15 shots yet again there in game two. So they've got 10 goals on 30 shots in the first two games. Ryan looking to add to that. Has to fall back in the defense. Iona have gone a little bit more defensive here in game number three. Uh, you know, a little bit wider rotations. That, that that moment of posturing when we saw everybody just staring at the ball in midfield. I feel like those moments are so indicative of what's going through our players' heads. And uh, it's telling me Iona are are getting a little bit more conservative with it. I'm not sure. I'm not sure if I like that. All right, here we go. This is a, a 3v1 down in the corner. Ryan's gonna go up and get the touch. No, stop with a beautiful intercept. Great intercept and 
Now they have to go back and try and defend Iron Arrows. They wasted a lot of boost in those situations, so it'll be hard for them to regain the ball. Jays are going back, going to rotate around. Shadow looks to the backboard, but there's already two players there, and Lixi struggling to get the ball as Ryan is just bodying him, but he does find a shot, and he actually finds the back of the neck. Lixi rewarded for his hard work, for his vigor to keep going and keep fighting for that ball eventually finds the back of the net a double flip there from Jayza a little bit unlucky maybe but either way Nisha's getting the first goal of the game oh my goodness and I mean that was it was just a poor touch yeah that was Glitzy was looking for momentum and how to get off the wall and Riot gave it to him and is able to then just launch off the wall get the solid hit Converts that into a goal. Stuff almost had another one. Puts that one off the top crossbar. Stuff looking for a way to try to drive back in. Shadow rotating back. Able to greet Ryan. At least knock that ball up in the air. Shadow's going to win that 50. Glexi's chasing after it. Has to beat Ryan in the goal. Cannot. Ryan with a beautiful save. Great save from Ryan. Right place, right time. The question is... Can I only get back in this game? Because right now, Canisius is defending fairly well. You know, they're having a lot of opportunities to put this one away. And there is Ryan on the end of it to put it in the back of the net. The ball comes up. Great pass from Sustondi again. The assist mate the tactician, the playmaker. And then Ryan there with a, a safe, easy touch off the nose of his car to just direct it into the back of the net. And just in an instant, 1-1. And just the wherewithal to, to flip upside down so the nose of the car is just a little bit higher up, a little bit harder for that defender to get to. And that was just the exact couple of millimeters needed to get that thing home. Smart play coming out of Iona. And for the first time, Kanisha's had a lead, but was immediately cut short. Tried to get back, Shadow Storm completely missed on that one. Now Jazer sees some daylight. Glitzy. Able to shut that one down at the last moment. Good thing, Jayza dude. There was nobody else there. Yeah, there was no one there, and Jazer didn't have any boost left, but it doesn't matter. Ryan, once again, in these critical positions, he's always at the point where he needs to be. He's always in that place. Finds the ball, finds a little bit of space, puts it up on the backboard. Nobody there, nobody home, and taps it in with a double tap. Shadow not able to get up. The ball was too fast off the backboard. And once again, Iona showing that they they are such a good team. And even though they're one 0 down, they can make comebacks too. Three one answer. Shot comes out. Ooh, they can three Ryan. be unanswered as Ryan gets yet another hat trick. Three in a row from Ryan. Ryan, what are you doing to him? Doing him dirty. <laughs> He is. He is doing a dirty. He scored three in a row in short succession, and every single one of those goals is, well, apart from the one with the assist from Sustondi, most of them have been just to him in the right place at the right time. Jays are playing it across the box. Stuff will be able to come across and take it away. Ball goes up. Blixi, Sustondi gets the touch. Sustondi, surely that's going to be a goal. Yes. Puts it in the back of the net. Ryan oh. tries to steal it. Well, secure <laughs> it. But either way, that touch there took it away from every player they didn't expect it and then he can just twist in the air little boost into the back of the net easy as you like from Sir Stanley. well not really easy if anything it was very difficult and very well played well it, it was a, a nice bump coming out from, from Ryan I believe Ryan sent Mr. Stuff just to the moon like knocked him all the way from the <laughs> box to the wall with some good contact and the defense just got pulled apart at the seams and now there's only 30 seconds separating Iona from yet another 3-0 sweep. Ryan gonna take another one off the backboard. Shadowstorm wins that one fairly well. And uh, it's, you know, Kanisha's not giving up. They're trying Ryan? to stay in this thing, but Ryan has other plans, putting up their eighth goal on the day. Ryan, again, <laughs> absolutely unreal. Wow, what a play from him. He's just, he's, oh, he's, he's talented. A talented player. How do you predict where the ball's going to go? Like, Ryan just has a way of making making it possible for there's, like, any angle. Like, you have to cover all angles. Ryan will find that opening and, and just put the ball exactly there. Like, it is just GPS tracked into your net. 
You need to stop him before he gets there. That's the problem. You need yeah. to stop him before he gets yeah. to that position. Exactly. Exactly. You can't give Ryan that much room to work. Let me see the results. Iona, 3-0 over Kanisha's here. That is their sixth win out of their last seven matches and continuing to just work their way up the ranks. They've made their way into top 10 and with a 3-0 win today, could really shake things up here, George. Yeah, really could. I think that, um, I think Ryan is just, he played phenomenally in that game and Sestondi definitely playing his part with the assists and the playmaking. And as well, Jayza as a substitute coming into the team and performing that well is, is quite impressive, especially if he, you know, maybe doesn't get enough time to practice with the team um, as he would like. But yeah, hats off to him and hats off to our owners. They, they definitely showed their class there. Well, I was looking at the uh, at our rankings, uh, and it doesn't look like this one's going to really move them up just yet. It will take uh, Connecticut. We have Weber State and NAU, our newest teams coming in to EGFC, who are currently sitting at eighth and ninth because it's kind of the list I have is based off of win percentage. So, mm -hmm. despite only playing four matches compared to the twelve coming into week thirteen. So I'm kind of disregarding that. So let's let's call Connecticut, who are currently sitting at seventh, the next up for Iona. Uh, they're nine and three and have a plus 20 differential. So it's going to take University of Connecticut going down in an 03, which, coincidentally enough, we're going to see in a second. But before we start talking about Connecticut too much, we're going to hear from Iona. we got a winner's interview coming up. Uh, let's see who we got. we got Sir Stondi coming in. So give us a minute to get that set up.